Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Um, I'm guessing if you're here, you're looking to get into the business and maybe you've struggled to find an easy route in or you might think it's difficult to get into. Well, I'm telling you, it's very easy. So stick around for a couple of minutes and we're gonna go through very briefly and quickly how easy it is to get into the tree world, the tree industry. Stick around guys. So guys, you're looking to get into becoming a tree surgeon, arborist, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to really make it plain and simple how easy it is to get into this business. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick brief story of my history of becoming a tree surgeon. Because um, I encountered probably the same problems you're encountering now on finding out how to become a tree surgeon. So I was... A landscaper before so basically grass cutting uh, maintaining sites uh, keeping them tidy and one day was going around on a ride on mower and I saw a guy in a tree on a harness and rope with a chainsaw and I I stopped and was watching him for about 10-15 minutes and I was like I need to do this that's what I want to do I was 18 years old I had a young child so I was thinking, right, how do I get into this job? On my lunch break that day, I started looking up how I could get into it. And everything was saying, go to college, colleges, colleges, go to college. I was like, oh, how am I going to go to college? I've got a small child. I need money coming in. Anyway, a week or two later, I bumped into a tree surgeon in a petrol station and went over to him, had a chat and said, do you know where the nearest college is? I want to become a tree surgeon. Um, that's how eager I was to do the job. I got it in my head that I was prepared to do whatever it took. So if I had to go to college and maybe scrimp and be tight with money for a year or two, I was prepared to do it. But lucky enough, he turns around and says, the only college is in the UK. This was 16 years ago, bear in mind. Um, I was like, okay, oh, that's, that's even more hassle. He said, but we're looking for a groundsman. And I was like, Oh, so I can start without going to college? Absolutely. So two weeks later, I started as a groundsman in a util utility tree surgeon company. So utility is power line clearance. Um, and the rest is pretty much history. And 16 years later, I'm still doing the job. I love my job. I'm passionate about it. And there's always room for me to improve, which is very good for your mind because there's no kind of limit. There's no end goal the goals are always coming so that's another great thing about this job but it's that simple guys all you need to do is pick up the phone or if you see a company on the side of the road ask them it's that simple guys that especially here in Ireland I can't speak for the UK but I'm guessing it's similar they're crying out for lads to come into this industry so you literally all you need to do is pick up the phone find some local companies on Google Give them a call. Are you looking for any grounds people? I've never done the job before. Be honest. But I really, I really love the look of the job and I want to get into it. And I guarantee you, you'll find you will find a job. And it's that simple. Now, depending on what route you go, so utility or private, so utility is power line clearance, and private is like gardens and just private, you know, private people's property uh, doing trees. If you go to the private side, you're probably not going to need as many qualifications. And when I say qualifications, I mean, in Ireland, it's a safe pass card, which construction workers have to use. Anyone that's doing any kind of labor work for official companies has to have it. It's not really related to tree work, 
but you have to have it. And I think in the UK, it's a CSCS card. Uh, America, I'm not sure. Maybe you have an equivalent. If you do, let us know in the, the comments. They're easy things. You cannot fail these. They're not big tests. They're one day things. You go in, you pay them your money and you get your card. And then you're ready to go on site. So very, 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 very simple. Don't even be worrying about it. Um, big companies, a lot of big companies, they'll take you on and they might put you through this training. So you might not even have to pay for it yourself. It's that simple, guys. Now, you're not going to start as a, a tree climber. You're going to start as a grounds person. You're going to be down on the floor, clearing up uh, the, the branches and filling people's saws, tidying up the truck, whatever it is, you're going to do that for a long time. Uh, when I say a long time, maybe six months to a year. Um, but it's that simple, guys. Uh, I, I hope this video kind of simplifies it for you. You don't have to go to college. You can, if you want, to become an arborist. You can go to certain colleges that will teach you how to fell, to climb, to rig, and you can do that in a period of maybe three months. Uh, it's gonna cost you a few grand. Or you can go the route I did. Start with a company from the bottom and work your way up. And I'm doing all right. You know, I'm not I'm not rich. I'm not minted by any by any imagination, but I'm doing all right. I've got a half decent life. I've got a few quid in my pocket. And I love my job. I love I love working with the people I work with and my mind's good. What more do you want from a job? You know, most people are doing jobs they hate. So if you can get into this job and you like it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give back to you. Uh, whatever you give to this job, it's going to give back in abundance. So guys, I hope that has simplified becoming a tree surgeon for you. And please, if you watch this video and you decide to go ahead, throw, throw some comments in. Let us know how things are going. Um, if you're experienced and if you've had your own experience like this, that it was difficult to find out how to get into it, put the comments in. I'd love to hear them. And I'm sure everyone else will too. Guys, I will see you on the next video. Thank you for being here and adios.